Hello world, it is Tuesday, April 9th, 2024, and I'm looking out the window at Defiance. It's a beautiful sunny day today, and a um, little bit of a breeze, but warm in the 70s, and uh, looking in the future, I think there's some storms and rain coming uh, tomorrow, and then a little more rain and cooler temperatures on Thursday. The devotion for today is entitled Sailors Take Warning, written by Liz Miller. Liz bases the devotion upon Jonah chapter 1, verse 7, New Revised Standard Version, updated edition. The sailors said to one another, Come, let us cast lots, so that we may know on whose account this calamity has come upon us. So they cast lots, and a lot fell on Jonah. And Liz writes, The big fish gets all the glory, but the most powerful characters in the book of Jonah are the sailors who thought they were welcoming just another passenger onto their ship and got a life-threatening storm in return. These sailors are the witnesses and near casualties of what happens when someone joins a group, a community, a church, a family, or a ship, with no self-awareness about the baggage they bring with them or the effect it has on others. When faced with the storm that follows Jonah on board, the sailors do not play the blame game or respond with ill-advised, fearful actions. They respond with a level of spiritual maturity that I can only aspire to. The sailors each search their souls to make sure they are not the cause of the tumultuous sea. They invite Jonah to join them in the soul searching. When Jonah is revealed to be the cause of the storm, the sailors respond with curiosity and ask to know more about Jonah's background. They ask Jonah how he thinks the storm can be calmed, including him in the problem solving even when he is the source of the problem. When Jonah says the only option is to toss him overboard, the sailors still resist and attempt a more peaceful solution. Finally, the sailors desperately pray to God to not allow them harms to not allow them harms to harm someone. Their prayer is the cry that lands Jonah into the mouth of the big fish, who became the timeout vessel he needed to deal with his baggage and get right with God. The fish gets the glory, but it was a community of sailors who cared enough to get him there. And the prayer. When the winds blow and the waves roll, may I find myself in a community that cares enough and is mature enough to help me deal with my baggage. Amen. Well, a couple thoughts that occurred to me while reading this were um, how important community is for our mental health. Uh, we can't often, we don't often realize um, when we're having. Uh, mental or emotional difficulty. Sometimes we are, sometimes we're not. Um, and the community around us can help us find that the, the help that we need and to help us perhaps see that maybe things aren't as bad as they, as we feel they might be. Um, they might help us to find the thread that we can hang on to um, and help us find the, um, the help that we really truly need to get us through and around the problem. Um, the other thing that struck me reading this is, you know, I'm, I'm not a literalist. I don't really believe that Jonah was um, in the belly of a whale and thrown up on the beach. Um, but I think the story is a parable about um, needing time alone to rethink decisions that we've made, um, to look when things are not going the way we planned, um, to maybe to pray and to think about. Um, what direction we might need to take um, to um, assist with change occurring in our life and in the world. <clears throat> and I was also thinking that with the story of Jonah, um, I think it's a, a parable about um, how oftentimes the answer to our own prayers is our own action and how sometimes um, we can't avoid problems in the world but have to have to actually turn and actively face them and work toward um, resolving them, um, being God's hands and feet in the world, so to speak. Anyway, those are my thoughts and impressions of this um, devotion. And I'm sure you may have some different ones. And that's um, that is the nature of a, a devotional. So hope you have a good day and um, hope to talk to you again soon.